Publishing books or distributing books, what else does Studio Dream Chair offer? So I also do work um, in the film industry, and so that's I would I try to I try to be involved in like two movies a year, and I, I try to do one movie of my own, mm -hmm. uh, like a just a small kind of creative project, and then I tr try to do to be involved in a larger at least one larger project a year. I find that's like all I can handle. Uh, with the other stuff I have going on, like I try to write a novel every year too, so I just kind of have to like measure my time. I have like seasons, mm -hmm. so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think she does a lot of, uh, you work with a lot of children too and with the movies and that, where they actually create their own movies. Yeah, so I do run all different kinds of art programs out of Studio Dreamshare. Um, those are, like those are kind of like my fun, uh, passion project. Uh, I just, Part of my motivation for opening a, a space downtown was that when I was growing up here, there was like there was very limited resources for youth uh, and programs. Like, like I was so inspired and creative and like doing all kinds of stuff on my own, but I just felt like there just wasn't there wasn't an outlet. I was involved with uh, Pembroke Little Theater, which was mm -hmm. great. Yep. Uh, definitely, like I'm less interested in acting and more interested in like directing or writing. But that was kind of like there wasn't really opportunities to do that when I was a kid. So I want to give kids the opportunity to do those things and to experience those things. And I've hooked some kids up with some pretty sweet opportunities. Uh, and that makes me feel so good. So that's, <laughs> that's definitely like the, the, the fun and like passion project part of what I do. Very cool. Very cool. And other kind of stuff that you got going on there, because you actually collaborate with a lot of other type of classes there too. Do they rent it from you and use your space or is this a project of yours that are going on stuff like the dancing or the artwork and things like that so i'm open to anything it's a creative space it, i sort of see it as well it's my art studio uh for whatever kind of arts i'm doing whether it's writing or filming or whatever or painting or you know whatever i'm into at the time um but it's like a just a big beautiful space i just did some pretty cool renos so now i have breakout rooms and um, just for COVID uh, so that people can be separate from each other. And um, also there's a lot of street noise. So there's, so now that it's like a little more soundproof up there for recording and stuff. Um, so I'm open to whatever, like I, so the dancing, like Kristen Gloa is a good friend of mine and just a super awesome lady who's, who I, I, I have done um, kickboxing with. And so she also teaches dance and she wanted, uh, she was looking for like just a fun, inspiring space to host her dance classes. So we did that. Um, I teach music lessons just uh, one or two days a week. Like I don't want to, I don't want to do too much of that just because I, I, I have difficulty sticking to doing like one thing. So <laughs> that's I, I love music. I've always loved music. Like all through university, I was making good money like teaching piano lessons on the side, mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of funny. <laughs> you, know, you are like spending all this money to go to school to do other stuff, but it's like the creative stuff has always has always sustained me. Like I can, I can always like you know, I, I started a little photography company in university, like just doing weddings and stuff like that, just to kind of like pay my tuition and Very yeah, cool. creativity, <laughs> yeah, creativity has always um, been more has paid the bills and has always been more um, what's the word fulfilling than some of the other things that I've done. Yep.